Have you prepared your December budget yet? I have, and I'm gonna show you the whole thing right now. Hey guys, my name is Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. I am a blogger. I have a website called senseandpurpose.com and I have this YouTube channel all dedicated to helping you take back control of your finances. Now every month here on my YouTube channel, I do a detailed budget walkthrough of my family's personal budget. And today we are going to go through our December 2019 budget. How is it December already? I don't know. It's time to get started Christmas shopping, preparing a Christmas budget, all of the things. You can actually purchase the spreadsheet that I use in this video if it's something you're interested in. You can find it in my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link and a coupon code for you down below. So let's go ahead and hop onto the computer. So here we are in my December budget sheet. I've already copied the sheet over because if you do use my budget spreadsheet, then you just duplicate every single month. And then I take a minute, I go through, I take out all the old expenses and I start fresh. I use my real expenses, but I do estimate our income because my husband's paycheck changes every single week and it's impossible for me to know exactly what's coming but I do take a pretty good estimate. So this month I'm actually going to estimate the first paycheck of the month as $2,000 and his second paycheck of the month also. Actually, I think I'll do a second paycheck of the month. Let me think, let me think. There's a couple of holidays he'll be paid for, so I, hmm. He has not had any overtime but he will have holidays at the end of the month. So yeah, we'll do 2000 and then we'll do 2200 for his pays for December. And then additional income in the second, no, the first half of the month, I've been taking around $100 from my business each month. Now it's not a lot. And we actually have a new plan for that that I will show you in a couple minutes, but I'll add that $100 for now. Now, if you watch my videos every month, then you know I have upped this again and I'm paying an even $14.30 on our mortgage each month. You can see that here in the total. So the first half of the month and the second half of the month, I take $715 and I put that right into our mortgage online bank account and the mortgage is debited from there automatically each month. Our natural gas, our electric, and our water, these are all copied over from November. And then when the actual bills come in for December, I will update these amounts here, and it shouldn't be too different. So I don't really worry about that. Usually the gas and the electric are opposite. So when the gas bill goes up for us, the electricity usually goes down slightly, so they even each other out. And our water and sewer stays pretty consistent each month. Internet and cable, that should be about the same. Cell phone was a little bit higher last month because I did get a new phone. So I'm gonna bump that down to 200. Actually, I think it will be lower, but I'm not exactly sure what it's going to come in at. You know what, I think I'll bump that down to 185. Trash is a quarterly bill, and each quarter I put $30 to savings, and when the bill comes, I take the money out and I pay the bill. House maintenance, this will filter down into the cash envelope section down below, but I will put $30 in the house maintenance envelope. I might end up upping that depending on how the paychecks come through because we do need to get some new rugs for downstairs. We have two runners in our hallway. We have an indoor outdoor carpet under our kitchen table that is it just needs to go. And then we have a small matching one in front of our sink and I would like to replace all of those, but we are still repainting some of our house. So I need to keep replenishing the money in the house envelope so that when my husband needs more paint or painting supplies, the money is there for him to go and take. If his paychecks come in a little higher, depending on Christmas presents, um, maybe I can throw a couple extra bucks in that envelope to start saving for the rugs. Gas, this is for our cars, 75 each pay. That's pretty consistent for the most part. Vehicle maintenance, $35. I will add each half of the month to that cash envelope. Groceries are 200 and 200. And you know what, with the holidays coming, I think I'm gonna bump that up probably to 225 each pay. 
only because there's a bunch of holiday parties and different things that we do, sometimes random last minute entertaining in December. And I wanna make sure we have a little bit extra to either bring some dishes to Christmas or parties if we go to, or if we have anybody over last minute, we have a couple extra dollars for that. Restaurants, I'll leave at 30. Sam's Club, I think I'm going to leave that as 50 and 25 for right now, only because some extra stuff always seems to come up this time of year. And again, I wanna really estimate on the high side so that I don't bust our budget in December since we are cash flowing Christmas. So every extra cent we have right now is going towards Christmas presents. And that is because we did not save throughout the year this year because we are focusing on baby step three. We are debt free except for our mortgage. So we don't need extra any money to go to debt and we are pausing baby step three until Christmas is over. So every extra cent goes towards Christmas presents right now. Walmart, that's zero and zero. Sports and activity fees. We did pay $80 for my son to play a winter league last month. And we're going to have spring signups. I think he's going to try lacrosse this spring and those will be coming this month. I have no idea the cost. I think I'll actually bump that to 100 and 100 the first pay and leave that there. We will need to purchase some equipment, but that would probably wouldn't do until the new year. So I'm going to leave that there for now. Kid commission Again, I still have money in that envelope. Kid stuff, I'm gonna leave, um, I think I'll change that to 30 and 30. Cash envelopes, we are covering this, as I say each month, in each individual category as we go through the budget. So cash envelopes, I will just touch on briefly at the end, but we're gonna skip it for now. So we're coming up here, 150 we give to our church every month now, World Vision, $29 a month. Spontaneous giving, I usually do not fill this out, however, I am going to make that 50 and 50. We already covered a lot of our holiday giving last month, and I don't believe it appeared in our budget video because I wasn't sure what our church was doing, but I can recap that for you quickly. We gave $50 for um, a church-wide holiday offering that they asked people to contribute to. So we gave $50 to that and we're able to just give via PayPal or um, push pay online with our church. So that's awesome. I don't need to worry about putting cash in or sending a check. So we did $50 for that and we filled two shoe boxes for Samaritan's purse, but I will leave a link to it down below in case you want to check it out for yourself or just get some information and plan for next year. And then our church also has an angel tree. So we did two gifts for the angel tree and I usually do two, one for myself to pick out and one for my daughter to pick out so that goes to a local charity in our town and then one other thing that my husband and I really wanted to do this year was to bless two people we're not exactly sure how we're going to do that we do know that one of them we want to leave a $50 tip somewhere on a small bill so we are hoping you know to just go somewhere for a quick lunch maybe one day while the kids are in school and leave a $50 bill um, for a server. Servers work really hard and some of them make great money, but some of them do not. And I served before and I just, I remember how excited and happy it used to make me when I worked hard and somebody left me a really big tip. And to be honest, even if somebody doesn't work hard, I almost kind of hope the server does a crappy job and we can still leave them $50. Just in the spirit of Christmas giving and showing grace and showing people that everybody has a bad day and, you know, we want to bless them and hopefully turn somebody's day around. So that's our plan. And then we want to give $50 to another person in some other way. I'm not sure how. I don't know. But I, I don't normally plan our spontaneous giving because it's spontaneous. And if we feel the pull in our heart to give, we just give. And we figure it out in our budget later, but I want to really be intentional and take $100 for that and bless somebody. And then I also will be doing um, a giveaway around Christmas time, so keep an eye out for that. It will be over on Instagram though, so you can follow me on Instagram if you don't, and keep an eye out for that. I'm, I'm really looking forward to 
um, trying to give back to my readers and my viewers. So I hope you will follow me on Instagram and keep your eyes out for that coming. Next, we are not, we already talked about our emergency fund. We're not donating to, our, we're not, donating. We're not contributing to our emergency fund this month. We are contributing still my $100 that I've been sending to my Roth IRA each month. Stash, I will pay my dollars um, maintenance fee to that. Our auto insurance, $127. My husband's life insurance, my life insurance, all of those will be sent to our savings and they will be coming out when the bills are due. And pet insurance, this we pay each month and that goes on our credit card. Here, pet food, I think I'm actually going to move the $30 to the first pay because I'm going to need dog food. Vet care, this goes in our envelope, our cash envelope and we're gonna do $30 each half of the month. Cat litter, my cat has plenty of food. She doesn't need food, but she does. We do have her litter that's delivered once a month in the second half of the month. So that's $23. Personal money, my husband gets $75. I get $60. His gym membership comes out the second half of the month. Gifts, we do have a bunch of birthdays coming up, including my son. So I am going to bump this up to... 75 and 75 to make sure we're saving lunch money ten dollars and ten dollars um we have some money in the lunch money envelope but my son's going to need money for lunches and i'm going to contribute to this because when we're out shopping i do most of the shopping but sometimes if i'm really trying to get things done i will stay out and just pick up something for lunch so i'm going to continue adding to that envelope Doctor medication, we're doing $50 each half of the month. That will go in for any doctor's fees, any co-pays, any medications. Toiletries, $10 each half of the month. Spotify, that comes out the first half. That's $10.59. Spend, we combine that with restaurants and take 100 each half of the month. So that's 70 and 70. Clothing. I am definitely going to add some money and clothing. I'm going to do, I think, 50 and 25. That is going to allow me to probably grab a shirt for myself for Christmas and maybe for my husband as well. My mother usually purchases um, holiday outfits for my kids. She likes to coordinate with them and my niece, so she always takes care of that. But sometimes I need to grab shoes. If anything else small comes up, that's going to give us some money for that. I finally scheduled hair appointments for myself and my daughter. Those are coming up. Hers is actually at the end of November, mine's at the very beginning of December, but then my husband and my son will both need haircuts for Christmas as well. So we're gonna do 30 and 30. And this is a new line in our budget. If you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen that my husband and I have decided to commit to monthly date nights. And these are monthly date nights that actually cost money, as in getting out of the house, going to do something like a movie or dinner, uh, obviously we can do no cost date nights. We tried to do that while paying off debt. Um, he, I think is getting bored. I'm not really bored, but it's something that we need to do. So I made a post about that on Instagram. If, if you're curious about all the details, you can head over there and check that out. Otherwise we have decided that the money I take out of my business each month, which is usually around a hundred dollars, give or take, is what we are going to use for our date night that month. We are going to force ourselves to get out of the house, spend a little bit of money, because I don't like spending money on those type of things. But it's something that I think we need to do. We need to get, um, you know, make sure we're prioritizing our marriage, because in a couple of years, our kids will be busy and want nothing to do with us, and it's just going to be the two of us. So. This is what we are doing as much as we could use that money from my business in our normal budget each month. I think it's better spent here. So that $100 we will take out likely in cash each month and use on a date night. So I am excited for it. As much as I don't wanna spend the money, I'm excited. We did it uh, for the first month last month and we had a really great time so I'm looking forward to that. This is just the amount of money we transfer for those bills I covered up top that go over to our savings account. 
So I transfer that over to savings each month. And this is really just a reminder to make sure I have done so. Now, a little change with our cash envelopes. Over here, wow, that's a lot of cash envelopes we need this month. The first half of the month is $755. And that's because some of those changes that we made, and again, that $100, 100 of those dollars comes from my business and I do keep the two deposit envelope downstairs. So anything that I purchase online or pay for online, the cash then goes in the two deposit envelope and then I take that when it's time to fill our cash envelopes and I subtract that money. So I'll just show you quick. For example, if I count that envelope and I have $200, I will fill that in here and that's going to subtract. So it's gonna show you that I only have total cash needed of $555 and that is what I'll go take out of the bank. Now I will note the envelope isn't usually that full because if there's anything major, I will take the money and go deposit it in the bank instead of put it in the deposit envelope because I don't like keeping a lot of cash at home or on my person, but that's what that line is for just in case you were wondering. Here I fill in some budget notes. I don't have anything off the top of my head that I need to add this month. Um, I might make a notation on some of the different sports fees if he does start a new sport, but that's not a big deal. Here's our emergency fund. We are still sitting at $8,000 because we have not put anything extra in yet since, as I mentioned, all extra money is currently going towards Christmas presents. So I don't expect this to change until into January. The last thing we need to cover is our different. You can see here we have a huge deficit of $700 the first half of the month. Again, my husband's paycheck usually comes in higher than I estimate because I try to estimate on the low side so that everything kind of balances out. If it doesn't come in much higher and we're still with a big deficit, I simply go through and I adjust all of our cash envelope amounts before I take the cash out of the bank. That's usually where I can make up most of the difference. If we have any other issues, then I might have to look into something a little bit further as in cutting costs or adjusting something outside of the cash envelope category. And it's not usually too much of a problem. I also wanna mention that I do have a holiday budget planner for you guys if you're struggling with trying to figure out how to budget for the holidays, what you should spend on what, or making sure that you're looking big picture and including everything that might come up so you're not surprised with random expenses throughout the holiday season, you can use the link down below and join my free resource library over on my website and you will find the holiday budget planner plus a ton of other free resources and printables in that resource library and it's all yours to download and use for free. That's my December budget. If you have any questions or comments, like always, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments section. And just a reminder, I have some links and other helpful information for you in the description box below as well. And lastly, don't forget to head over to my website and join my free resource library where you can print your holiday budget planner completely for free. Then you can sit down and create your own budget all for the holidays so that you can stay on track and not overspend this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you and I hope to see you back here real soon. Have a great day. Bye.